Hey guys, so for this video, I'm going to be trying out everything from the new Booga 5 Below setup, including the sold out 60% keyboard, as well as the new $10 honeycomb mouse. Now, I don't know about you guys, but me personally, I did not know this stuff existed. Like, obviously, I've done a ton of videos on the original Booga 5 Below setup. I actually still have it with me right here, but I only just found out that Booga dropped a new and supposedly better keyboard and mouse setup. Thanks, Booga. Thus, drop a like down below if you enjoy. Also, comment down below what keyboard and mouse you guys personally use. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Oh no. Alright, so as I mentioned before, the two new Booga products are the 5 Below 60% LED keyboard. If it focuses, it looks pretty damn sick. And then there is also a, I guess, LED gaming mouse. It's supposed to be honeycomb, which just means, like, there's holes in it. Kind of like a honeycomb. But these are actually way different than the original Booga 5 Below setup. That one I have with me, you can see this is the original mouse. It is definitely not honeycomb, and it was honestly just trash. There's also the headset, there's the mouse pad, there's like a headset stand. You also can't forget about the keyboard. This is a full size, and it is huge. Something that's actually kind of funny is these two new products, the ones we're gonna check out, they are actually $10. They're not $5 like the original ones, and they're also not below the price of $5. So like, the name 5 below. Are they scamming me? No, but for real, I actually have to give a huge shout out to Kamali. He is the one who sent me these products because they're basically sold out everywhere. He didn't even make me pay for the shipping because it was recently my birthday. I am now an old man at 25 years old. And for my 25th birthday present, I decided to get a Booga mouse and keyboard hand touched and used by Kamali. <laughs> Thanks, Kamali. Starting with the keyboard, I guess we will unbox that first. I have never actually seen a 60% keyboard that is $10. Usually the really cheap ones from like Amazon and just random third party sellers. The cheap keyboards are actually full size because I guess it's like cheaper to make the plastic for all of them. But obviously it is an LED 60% gaming keyboard. It's gonna have membrane switches, not like fast gaming switches. Wait. What? There's a detachable USB! USB-C! <laughs> Bro, I thought it was gonna be like the full-size one where the USB is built into it and you can't remove it. Oh my god! Here's the keyboard. Pretty damn nice. Looks like every other 60%, including the Apex Pro Mini, which I just reviewed. On it, you can see there's like the little FN keys, the function stuff. So S and D, they double as your down and right. Also, to prove, there is a USB. Oh. Okay, the USB is in the box. Honestly though, first impressions, this is pretty damn nice. It's really not that heavy. I don't know if that's good or not because usually cheap things are not that heavy. <laughs> Oh no, it feels like there's nothing in it. Like there's just no switches. I guess I'll do a little switch test. Not the greatest sounding keyboard in the world, but hey, that is what $10 and 5 below will get you. I'm excited though. This will definitely be interesting to use and fun to compare to the more expensive keyboards. But also do not forget, there is a Booga LED gaming mouse, Honeycomb. The packaging is kind of already destroyed. Really, Kamali? This mouse should be way lighter than the other one. The fact it's Honeycomb, like that's the whole point of it. The holes in it are supposed to make it way less and you can see right there. We definitely have some holes going on. Seems to be like some sort of mesh behind it, or maybe that's the RGB, I don't really know. Here's the back, which is, oh my lord. Not the usual nice PTFE skates we are used to. <laughs> It does say it's an exclusive gaming mouse, so that's good. But in terms of weight, it's really not that light. Let me see how it feels compared to the super light. I don't know if this is a real test or not. Eh, not too shabby. The box says it has a 500 hertz polling rate. It has a braided cable and it should weigh... Uh, it just does not say the weight anywhere. Okay. <laughs> It says every different spec, including the length, the width, but it just doesn't say the weight. I would guess it's maybe 70 to 80 grams. When I have it in my hand, it feels pretty nice, pretty firm. And here we go, a little click test. 
Sounds like every other random office mouse. I guess this is technically a gaming one. But something I just noticed, if it'll focus, do you guys see this button? I think that's like an RGB brightness button, and that makes me really want to go and plug it in. Let's see how it looks. Here we go, boys and girls. This is the current setup with the Booga LED Gaming Honeycomb freaking I don't know what to call it mouse, as well as a 60% keyboard. Honestly, it does not look too bad. Like, come on. Altogether, you wouldn't really think these are both $10 each. <laughs> the RGB makes up for it. Wow. Let me turn the lights off. Oh. Oh, and that reminds me. Let's try the little button right there that won't focus. Oh, so yeah, it is a brightness option. It completely turns it off. Wait, work. Uh. Hey, there we go. Now it's red. Oh, it's changing colors. That's so cool. Your boy is excited. We're gonna see if these are actually better than the original Five Below setup. And we're also gonna see how badly I get pooped on with $10 peripherals. <laughs> As you can tell, ladies and gentlemen, we are currently in creative. We're actually sporting the new Booga skin. He's an e-boy now, and we're gonna try out, oh my, the new Booga mouse and keyboard. Ooh, this isn't bad. Uh, as I missed the edit. Now, if you guys remember the last time I used these, or not these, you know, the original Booga mouse and keyboard, the problem I had was actually not with the keyboard. Even though it was full size, it was pretty damn good. The main issue was the mouse, and specifically, ooh, specifically the mouse side buttons, which are what I use to build. My front mouse side button is my wall, my second one is my stair, and if a mouse does not have good mouse side buttons, even if, you know, it's $10, I am just not gonna be happy. I'm also probably gonna get pooped on but right off the bat i mean i'm obviously missing some edits but i am noticing Ooh, when i really try to spam edit oh never mind this is somehow just like the greatest keyboard ever what <laughs> what am i seeing this was ten dollars oh how are my resets uh we can work with this though! We can definitely work with this! So I think what I'll do is, I won't play Arena just yet. We'll obviously get there. I have a feeling it's gonna be, oh yeah. It'll be a little scary. <laughs> Some builds are placing everywhere! But before that, I'm gonna queue up for a headshot only creative map. We're gonna test my aim, and then we will play Arena. We are in, ladies and gentlemen. This will be a good test of our aim. Oh, my mouse was for some reason on the other screen. Oh. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> oh, no! You can also build on this map. Holy. I finally hit a shot. Bro! Oh, my God. Is this my aim or the mouse? Who do I blame? Come here. I have noticed, like, I have to recenter this mouse a decent amount. Let me see if I can show you guys what will happen if I don't keep recentering it. Is that the polling rate? Is that the... It could be that I'm just used to wireless mice, and this one is wired. Come here, boy. Oh, there we go! There we go. Can I hit a clip on someone? Probably not, but, you know, we'll try. This map is gonna make me go crazy, but it is a good warm-up. Holy, how am I missing? What? Hit him in the head, Jurian! Thank you! Oh, imagine that on John Cena. 185. One not 85. Oh my, everything just broke. Get out. Get out. There's like 15 seconds left. No! No! <laughs> ah! Magi? What is my aim with this mouse? Thank you! <laughs> I'm getting donkey laughed at. Well, boys and girls, I did warn you. I said it wasn't gonna be pretty. Now let's try the $10 mouse in none other than Solo Arena. Rest in peace to my points. Um, where is this guy going? What the? Okay, that was an interesting play, but hey, we're on the board. We got a kill. Oh, that guy's running. Come to me. 
No, this guy is nothing. Oh, I got nothing though. Let's hope my aim doesn't fail me now. What the? I can't even blame the mouse and keyboard. Where was he? Ooh, did they just both die? Oh, never mind. This guy's a demon. And I can't build. Ow. I'm not ready to fight good players. Chill. Oh, oh my god. I did not deserve to win that. I'm like a damn drone with this mouse. My bills weren't resetting. <laughs> my shots were not hitting. <laughs> this is not fun. Why do I do this to myself? Why? Oh. What the? Edit. Ooh. We're alive somehow. Our HP is also just randomly messed up. It looks like I'm not 200 HP. These fights are like, they're just so bad. I'm missing edits. I feel like such a drone. <laughs> oh. Oh, where'd my minis go? Oh! I dropped my minis. Wait, why can't I switch? I can't switch to hard mats. Chill, there's another guy. And I don't know where my minis are. Yeah, I'll let them fight. I am not trying to get involved. Oh, maybe I am. Well, that guy's full tarping. Well, this guy's a demon. You know what? We will run. <laughs> we are being a coward. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my. <gasps> Nobody saw the first shot. Nobody saw that. Oh my gosh. I'm so bad with this mouse. Like, look at that. Oh, my AR aim is kind of fire. Give me the kill. Give me the kill. My shotgun aim, though. That is a different story. But look at my AR. I'm a surge tag demon. Oh, I'm telling you guys. My AR aim with this is diffy. Yo, yo, yo. Chill, 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 chill. Dude, I'm down to just sit here. I don't got a whole lot of mats. He's looking at me. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't think I want to test my shotgun aim. Well, I guess this is it, boys. We're in a top five situation. I have five E-limbs, 500 wood, 500 ammo in my light SMG. Ooh, that's not a bad pull. That guy's hella high up. Don't look at me. Playing like a little solo cash cup end game. Let's go. I guess we'll tarp. <laughs> A booga with the booga tarp. Oh, that kid does not like me. I did hit him 100, though. 400 wood now. Sprinting, sprinting, sprinting. Farming. Oh, that's his. That was some good damage. Bro, what? He's building so high up. 80? Dead? Zone goes far. I might just take this med miss. Top four now. Just absolutely no one's dying. Wait, how do I have 15 armored walls? I'm just armoring everything. Six builds though. Am I about to play heal off? I have to play heal off. <laughs> Your boy is playing heal off in a solo arena game. Top four. No one's dying. Please pull back. Nice. I need the mats. I can't get the mats. It pulls back to me. That was a genius play, even though I'm hella low. Top three. Oh. Dead. Top two. Ah, I should definitely heal, but I have no mats. 
<laughs> Let me out. <laughs> no chance! The nine kill dub! Are you kidding me? That's almost one elim for every dollar this mouse costs. Oh my god. You gotta subscribe for that. Come on!